number one highway is 1.5 kilometers away. I'm going to cross the number one highway to get into Brandon. Alright, we crossed the number one highway and we're now in the city of Brandon. Uh, there should be a bike path on my left hand side that I gotta look out for. And here's Josh. Just on the northeast side of Brandon. Oh, here's Brandon in all her glory. To the left, you can see the Brandon Water Tower. It's near the hospital. Uh, we won't be going by the university because there's a bunch of construction there on the west side, and so we're gonna avoid that construction. But we're just going down into the valley now. We'll see the Assiniboine River and uh, cross the bridge. And that'll take us to the southwest side. Having to brake hard coming down the hill. It's very beautiful, still really green in the valley here. All right, we're on a designated bike path in Brandon. To my right is the Assiniboine River, and you can barely make out the downtown core. And this bike path will lead us all the way south, uh, but I think we're going to get off at about halfway through and start making our way uh, west. But this is really nice, this bike path, how they have it for cyclists and People have walk here and you have a bench here you can rest on and it's really nice. There's a park uh, near the river. And a lot of people go there uh, just to enjoy uh, the Assiniboine River and different activities down there. You can now start to see the water tower a little more clearly. And you can also see the Assiniboine River on my right. They have a lot of problems with flooding here with that river. Uh, and they built up the banks and I think it again flooded this year and uh, caused some major damage. Uh, but this will lead us pretty much uh, to the downtown core to which we're more than likely going to turn.
Street comes out here at Aberdeen. And this bike path leads to Canadian Tire. On the east side of the road, the Highway 10. And on the other side is the Brandon Mall. And we'll stop there for a rest. Joshua has to recollect his thoughts. Okay, we're at the Brandon Mall in the shade, having a rest. Bought a coconut water. And Josh, he's come to his own conclusion. We're gonna, we're gonna stop here. My quads are absolutely burning right now and we are just exhausted. Going from Nipua to Minidosa absolutely killed me. It was extremely difficult to do that. Extremely difficult and it's caused my quads to burn and, I, and I'm totally exhausted. I'm totally played out. Yeah, so we were biking uphill and into the wind and the wind picked up to about 40k an hour. It wasn't an yeah. easy task at all to do that. <laughs> and I've had this problem even going from Minidosa to Miranda now. Yeah, when we turned the corner it was difficult because it didn't start turning south for another 5-7 kilometers. So we were really biking quite a long ways into the wind for a while before it finally turned south and got out of the wind. So the plan was to go to Suris uh, and look at the suspension bridge and eat their wood fire pizza. We're still gonna do that, so Joshua's mom, my wife, is going to come and get us here, and we're gonna drive into Suras and uh, do those last few things. Suras is about another 40 to 45 kilometers south west of Brandon. So, we're going to wait it out here for another half an hour or so and then we're going to get picked up and go to Suras. suspension bridge in Suris. A little bouncy. Some other people on it. It's pretty neat. And this is the Suris River. side of the suspension bridge. It's pretty cool, it's swaying quite a bit. Because there's a bunch of kids over there <laughs> swinging on it. But there's quite a bit of swing in here. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, and here's some of the old remains of the old one. Look at that, eh? There's the old bridge, that's how I remember that one. Wow. Kinda cool. Looking forward to the pizza? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is uh, the traditional pizza with actual wood. Looking forward to it. <laughs> 